And now you see why I wrapped the cell negative onto that uh, R12 and soldered it. Because as I heat this, you're really unsure whether that joint is going to be uh, consistent. You can, as you can see, it, um, it's taken a lot longer. Not even the case is getting hot. You know, at this point, it, it looks good, but it's not. I'm saying to myself, oh, there's solder everywhere in there. I put, you know, two and a half feet of solder in there, melting it. All right, so I've completely filled in the cavity that's there. So it's one big molded solder blob. If you can't get it to um, to melt to where it actually molds to the to the lug, um, you can use multiple soldering irons. Just put them all in there at the same time, and that'll up the temperature. But this case is hot to the touch over here now. I'm putting all that energy into there. Okay. I'm satisfied that that's one piece now. It looks like there's good wetting. Uh, there's no blobs anywhere. Uh, there's no round uh, balls. Uh, everything is from the core outward and full. Even on the wires, it's wicked up the wires. Um, that's a good sign that it's it's hot enough. And remember that the piece that goes through 
and connects over here to the to the um, C7 capacitor is one piece. So as long as you have it connected uh, in one area to the terminal, you should be okay. Okay, now I'm going to touch up my C7. Okay, not that cool. Remember that uh, that whole case is warm. So I'll give her time to cool off. Just wanted to mention uh, temperature again. Um, good temperatures between probably 800 to 900. Um, you know, my station goes up to it's 842 maximum. Um, bigger tips will sink more heat. Um, if you've seen those what they call a soldering gun, um, that will put a lot of heat down on the tip. It's really designed to to do applications like this where you need a lot of heat in one spot. Um, on my first unit I had all that wiring shoved in there. Um, I had like five or maybe six pieces of wire shoved in these big lugs um, and I ended up using a blowtorch on that and that went that worked really good but you have to be careful of the blowtorch uh, because of the insulation you can catch the uh, this area you can actually burn or catch on a fire uh, but one trick to protect your insulation from the heat from the flame is to wrap it with just a little bit of um, tin foil and make a little uh, shield uh, for the plastic areas All right, so that's the soldering. Now we need to go in and tighten up these lugs. They're still loose, but uh, I'm gonna tighten that one in that position. This one's gonna stay right in this position. We've already done the, um, the ground. And I recommend you do that first. Uh, it might make sense um, saying, well, if I didn't have the case on there, I'd be able to solder it easier. True. However, um, the connections in here are so um, small, um, you can easily twist the, uh, um, the lead right off of uh, C5 um, if you were trying to tighten it up. Or you could easily break off the lug on C7. So, soldered in the order I showed you. All right. So don't let don't let this turn at all because you've got that all soldered in place there. Crank it down. Those five washers can take quite a bit of pressure. What you don't want to happen is later on it to come loose and then it just wobbles around on there. 